Welcome to Athens. Now this is a really cool city to visit because it manages to flawlessly mix the modern and the ancient. You can spend an entire morning wandering around Placa, which is a neighborhood lined with trendy bars and cafes, and that same day you can visit the greatest sanctuary in ancient Athens, the Acropolis. think about the changing of the guards, you tend to think of Britain, but it happens here in Athens too, every hour on the hour at Syntegma Square, and you can even get your photo taken with the guard afterwards. There's a lot more to mainland Greece than just Athens though, which is why today I'm getting on a four-day classical coach bus tour. It'll take me to all the sites outside of Athens. Our first stop on the tour is in Kalambaka at the Meteora Monasteries. And if this is any indication of just how good the next few days are going to be, I can't wait because this is literally unbelievable. There are 24 monasteries here, six of which you can visit. They sit high on top of these jagged cliffs, the highest of which is 600 meters above sea level. This is amazing, an absolute must see. Delphi. Ancient Greeks believed this was the center of the earth and princes, kings, commoners, they all came here to get advice from the oracle Apollo. I just think being here is neat because being able to see the ruins right in front of you makes it so much easier to understand the history here. And the view from Mount Parnassos is pretty good too. It's day three and I'm really excited for today because I'm at Olympia at the site of the ancient Olympics. Now you have to use your imagination quite a bit here, but it's pretty cool to think that 40,000 people used to gather here every four years, starting in about 776 BC. Now the site itself is gorgeous, but my favorite part is the museum. Well, the coach tour ends today. We're checking out Mycenae and the Corinth Canal before heading back to Athens. Another day, another ancient Greek site. This is the Theatre of Epidaurus, and it's in amazing condition given that it was buried for centuries. Now this place is known for its acoustics. You can hear a whisper on stage from any seat here. They don't even use mics here, that's how good the acoustics are. I'd go down there and sing for you and give you a bit of a demonstration. But that, my friends, would be a true Greek tragedy.